in the next minute and a half to two minutes, you'll see a 26-day time lapse of corn seeds planted with and without a row support system. What you see here is a Pioneer hybrid seed corn, popularly planted by corn producers across the Midwest, that's been treated with a seed applied fertility seed treatment. Primary ingredient in this seed treatment is adenosine monophosphate, the same energy found within each seed. As the seed germinates and grows, draws in moisture, this additional source of adenosine monophosphate fuels the fire of germination. That adenosine monophosphate changes to diphosphate and then triphosphate, forming the Krebs cycle that really fuels the fire of germination. In addition, additional micronutrients are added to the seed treatment especially zinc, which is necessary for germination of corn in cold soil temperatures where most soil zinc is not available. In addition, in the row placement application below the seed, we've applied an in fertility product that is a orthophosphate immediately available to the plant along with immediately usable forms of N and K along with a seed safe source of sulfur. In addition, we've added a small amount of ag sugars, three different types of sugar, along with fulvic acid, and GA3 and IBA, two plant growth regulators that increase not only the foliage growth of this plant, but also the root development. The net result is at the end of 26 days, we saw a 39% increase in the growth of the plant mass, the entire plant mass, and a 29% increase in root mass alone. The cost of the full program would be something between $30 and $40 per acre for most growers, depending on their yield goals. Uh, seed treatment alone, the FAS seed treatment, is only $3 to $4 per acre, and an independent study shows a five to eight bushel yield response.